Kinda your scale guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video it is Tuesday Reset, meaning even more content! Because Season of the Dawn has dropped obviously in terms of the season. And we are getting the Dawning Event, which is basically the Christmas event. But the event is not the only thing we got as well, we obviously got new obelisks to use. So we got two new ones, one on Nessus and one on the EDZ. Basically, the obelisks are how you get your Saint-14 weapons and stuff like that. And the one we got today is gonna be Patron of Lost Causes. Let's get this scout rifle. You got to activate this Sundar link in Nessus. Basically, you just complete or open up the Nessus obelisk, connect it, complete a round of the Sundial, and then you will get your Patron of Lost Causes. Now, as this is the same 14 weapon, it will have random rolls. So, without further ado, let me go and show you what it's got. Patron of Lost Causes. There is a rough engraving on its side. In memoriam. So, again, the same 14 weapons looking oh so sweet. But this is going to be an RPM of 200, meaning it's going to be lightweight frame, superb handling move faster with this weapon equipped. For the barrels, I have corkscrew rifling, which increases range of stability and increases handling speed. Or it could go for fluid of barrel, which greatly increases handling speed or slightly increases stability. For the magazine, I got a pen and mag, which increases magazine. Or it could go for flared magwell, which increases stability and greatly increases my reload speed. For the two traits, we got a daddy one, which is rapid hit. Rapid precision hits temporarily increase stability and reload speed. And last but not least, we got one of the new perks, obviously, for Season of the Dawn, which is going to be Vorpal Weapon. Increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. And then we also got a stability masterwork and everything like that. But honestly, overall, this is actually a decent roll. This is a 200 RPM, and it's kinetic as well. There is not many of them. I think the only other 200 RPM kinetic is the Nightwatch, which is the Gambit Scout Rifle. The only problem with this is, well, you see on the screen anyway, is the random rolls. This will not roll with Kill Clip. I can already see people think for PvP going... <sighs> Ooh, that's a doozy. That's a bad one. It doesn't roll with Kill Clip or even Rampage. It doesn't roll with anything that increases damage or anything like that. So I can already see people thinking, oh, this is trash for PvP. But the only thing is, this does roll with Vorpal Weapon, meaning I can do damage to Supers, which is going to be super clutch. So without further ado, let's go into PvP and try the Patron of Lost Causes out. Alrighty, so we're going to actually be on the Rusted Lands. New map slash old map from D1. So uh, this is what the Vorp or the Patron of Lost Causes is going to look like. I'm going to call it Patron from now on. Well, this is what it looks like, and it looks pretty sweet. It's how it's gonna fire real quick, though. It's 200 RPM, so it's sort of like Maida territory, and obviously, uh, night watch and stuff, and that's. <laughs> As a sniper. But yeah, it will fire super quick and everything. And I will say, the gun looks really good. I didn't mention, though, this is barrel. Like, it has barrels on it. So if you do not like the sight, well, uh, tough titties because this is what you're stuck with. But we'll get this guy. Oh, we know we won't because he's 1 HP. We'll get that guy, though. And look at the rapid hit by 5. Mmm. Super good stability and everything. We'll get him as well. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. This is it. This is what scouts were built for. We built these just to sit back and enjoy the freaking ride. We'll get this guy. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got the kill somehow. <laughs> we'll get this guy, though. He's depressed. He's depressed. He can't run. Oh, he's so weak, buddy. Boys, boys. He's so there we go. Gosh, that guy thought I was going to get the kill. Um, I have so confused. There's a guy, like, super close, I think. There he is there. Oh, my God. Okay, I think he's using the new, uh, the new submachine gun. And I'm going close quarters with a weapon. And he's T-Bag shooting me. Screw you, buddy. Screw you. Thank you for the rift. Ooh, uh, this is uh, pretty hectic. <laughs> I haven't played this map in so long. I'm like, where's the best place to go with a scout rifle? And it's like, oh my, what? 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 Thank God we got him. He was going to shotgun my face off. Get this guy though. No, we won't. Oh my God. Okay. We didn't get him. But honestly, you'll see right now, rapid hit is actually pretty sweet. We haven't got to try the Vorpal light, like the Vorpal shots out and stuff. So I know a lot of people already are going to be like, Oh, this doesn't have kill clip. I mean, you're just wasting a prick without the, like, because you're using Vorpal. Because Vorpal, it is very situational. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's literally only shotguns. I didn't get an assist for that. It's only shotguns, or it's only supers I can actually get the extra damage and stuff in with. So, it's understandable. A lot of people will not be the biggest fans and everything. But, like, as a scout rifle goes, it's actually pretty sweet. And with rapid hit, of course, it's just super sweet. Uh, 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 can I get, there we go. Whew. Hitting the sweet spots. But yeah, I am liking this. This feels great. I mean, as I said, 200 RPMs. And there is not a lot of them. I mean, there's the Night Watch. The Night Watch will ro roll with multi-kill clip and stuff. So a lot of people might be going for that one because it's a good idea to do that. Oh, we'll get this guy. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, Night Watch can roll with multi-kill clip. I have a multi-kill clip roll of it as well. So a lot of people would be like, why would I go for that? I, I mean, this is super situational in terms of Warpool and everything like that. This guy is here somewhere. Oh. 
<laughs> Buddy, that won't go too far. I mean, <laughs> I didn't even need any headshots. I was like, he's trying to supernova me. Buddy, it not only goes like a bee's day. It's not going to go halfway across the map. Arbalist down here, though. Look at this guy. There we go. Oh, assistant boy. Honestly, I'm actually really liking this. This feels super good. I think it has really good handling as well. I mean, I do have a lot of handling sort of attachments, like barrels and everything like that. But the stability on it is super good. Obviously, on PC, not recoil. But stability with the rapid hit, it's actually pretty damn insane. Like, look at this. It's just, it's like a freaking laser. But look, they're all so weak. Buddy, Jace, James, he's weak over there with a shotgun. Oh. Oh, he got you, didn't he? I will say as well, the sight on this is beautiful. I mean, there's just so much going for it. There's a guard of shotgun down there. I do not want to... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's di just dip a bit, dip a bit. There he is there. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. No. Oh, you baited. You baited. Oh, he's so mad. He's so mad, but he has a shotgun. Oh, no. no there he is. <laughs> I didn't know where to go. I was on like a 15 kill streak or something. Oh, and here's the supers going in. Oh, crap. I forgot I have Warpal on. I probably should have stayed there for him. What the hell was that? Okay. Uh, is that is, Did that guy not die? What? I didn't even get a kill for that. What is this? This is a bull. Absolute bull. Oh, here's the vorp. Here's the vorp below. Okay, I need. To, I need to get in a good spot. No, buddy, 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 buddy. I need to kill this guy before I kill. There he goes. Oh my god. <laughs> we had like 41 for a dome. Ah, oh, the vorp. It's so. It's so confusing. It's like such a short window for me to use it. I will get it going in though. Honestly, I will get it to go in for me. Guy back here though. He's gonna get quadruple tapped. He's gonna get. Oh, he hit me. Nice shot, buddy. Honestly, that was a decent shot. Too bad I have one-eyed mask. Oh, there's a guy here with the stupid, stupid shotguns. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I know he wants to peek. I know he wants to. How am I not one-eyed masking that guy? Come on. Come on. I should be one-eyed masking a couple of people right now. We'll get this guy though super quick. Come on, he's weak. He's weak, buddy. There we go. Look at this. Just, just sit back here with a, sn uh, with a scout and you just profit. It's just how you're profiting in this game. Come on. Is there anyone else with their team with a super? Right, they got one fisty boy. One fist, and he should be using it somewhere close to now. Nope, he didn't use it. I don't know who it is, though. Who is it? We need a, we need a fist to have to start going in. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> Come on, just one fist to have it. Just need a fist to have it to go in. Come on. Where is it? Where's the fist? Give me the fist. Fist me, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, one-eyed mask sometimes. It's just so beautiful for a scout. You know what I'll do actually? I'm probably gonna make this stupid guy get suppressed as soon as it happens. Ah, does he still have his fist? Please tell me he still has his fist. I didn't go to kill them. Oh, we can actually use this though. Come here, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. But the fisty boy has to go in. Come on. I I've been waiting all day. All day to get someone to go in. This guy down here. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, buddy. There we go. <laughs> We're actually going in as well. Oh my god, look at that though. Honestly, the handling on this weapon is freaking superb. I will admit that much. It actually is so good for it. No! Why does a why does a freaking super have to go in when I'm just here? There we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's of course it's the shield. <laughs> oh man, it's a guy who can stop me from doing damage to him. That's I just need a fist. I need a fisty. I need to get fisted, basically. I just need to get fisted to showcase how the Vorpal weapon works. But yeah, for the Vorpal weapon, it does like 41 per dome. So if you do the maths, obviously, obviously you have to hit 200. So 40 into 200. So yeah, it's about five-ish headshots, which honestly, that's really not bad. Considering it's a four tap usually with like a non-weak guardian. So if you think about that, that damage... It's pretty good, especially with a scout when I'm like because most supers apart from like if they're up close If I'm like sitting back and stuff and they try like using the super you will gun them down pretty quick relatively quickly Anyway, this guy with shotgun here and I'm, I, I can't hit him somehow get this guy though He's chilling there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on buddy. Stop hiding. Oh, but oh uh, We'll get him there though. Come here, buddy. Come on. This is so beautiful for handling. 32 kills altogether though. Point or 5.33 efficiency. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go into some PvE with the patron. Honestly, the patrons, it's it's really good for handling. I think it's mainly the role though I got for handling and everything, because I got some great increases and stuff. But I will say, in terms of just like like effectiveness, you can see 200 RPMs, they are a really good archetype of scout for the Al Crucible, of course. They're good for range, they're good for up close, like they're not bad. Obviously, the two sixties or the Randy's Show nice, like our Archetype are better for up close, but these can handle really well up close too. The only problem I will have for this, well, for PvP anyway, is that you can get better rolls in the uh, Night Watch. The Night Watch is the season of the Drifter, like it's the Gambit Prime sort of scout rifle. And I'm, I'm sure a load of you already have a bunch of god rolls of it because that can roll with multi kill clip 
And I can also roll with rapid hit and all the rest of them are pretty much the same as this uh, patron. But the thing about this one is that it does roll with obviously your Vorpal, Osmosis, and um, the Elemental Capacitor. The new perks obviously for Season of the Drifter and everything like that. So that makes this actually a pretty decent weapon in its own right for that. Obviously if I want a tank bust, if I want to shoot down supers and whatnot. But just in general, as a scout, 200 RPMs are fine for dealing with like mobs and stuff like that. Especially with the reload on this, with the rapid hit and everything, and the stability it gets to. It's pretty dang sweet what you can get with this. And plus, with this weapon, it means that for people who never got the Nightwatch Scout Rifle, it's a lot easier to obtain this. I mean, like, obviously, you just have to complete Sundial events with the Link, and you can keep on rolling for it. The, the Scout Rifle in Gamma Prime, it's somewhat harder. Obviously, you got to wait till the right week. You've got to wait till, like, obviously, RNG it. At least with this, you're guaranteed every time you do a Sundial to get at least a random rolled version of this. Maybe not the God Roll, or maybe not the roll you're looking for. But yeah, PvE, it's actually pretty sweet. We're probably going to lose this because they summoned the Prime Evil so long ago. But I will say, it's a decent it's a decent scare for PvE, it's not bad. Okay, I played on just so I could see what the damage would be like against the boss, of course. I didn't get to really try it out, so uh, you'll see I'm doing like 57-ish damage with this scare, so I don't need to get closer. But 57 damage per bullet and stuff, I mean... Uh, I don't know if it adds too much to said. Kinetics, obviously it is nice and all, I'm doing extra damage, but... When it comes to like, just generally speaking, I don't think you're realistically going to be using a spell you're heavy for it. Like, obviously doing damage and whatnot. Realistically speaking, it's a nice touch, especially if you're out of ammo and everything. But it's probably not going to be your absolute... It's not going to be a tank buster anyway. It's not going to be your main thing. But, like, you can see when, obviously, the Prime Evil Star gets up higher, you start hitting 150s and stuff. But, as I said, generally speaking, when it comes to this weapon, you're not going to be using it as your damage buster. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Pacifica with the Patron. Yeah, we get uh, the most close quarter map you can probably get in the game. When I'm using the skate rifle, so uh, we're going in with the patron though, and it's 200 RPM So maybe the close quarters won't make much of a difference, but we're gonna have to wait and see the uh, Oh, I forgot about freaking herbalist is in this game, but there we go. There's a first kill But yeah, we're gonna have to deal with all these herbalists and nubs So uh, that is where the scouts actually gonna come in clutch I think ranged weapons usually do actually somewhat well on cruise or on uh, console Just because they're really hard to kind of like shut down everything there's a guy up here with Yes, Arbalist, yes, Arbalist, yes, Arbalist. And he just sends the headshots, Mickey. Yep, that is what happens. The Arbalist just comes over and ruins freaking everything. There is two guys capturing this. No, 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 no. There we go. Don't cut my flag, Bo. Don't cut my flag. The only thing about this map is I literally have to find a good spot or vantage point where I can actually kind of like snipe some people and not get Arbalisted. Is that is that even freaking possible? I doubt it. This guy got to be here, though. Come on. Peek it, peek Oh, it's a sketch. Oh, nice smoke, buddy. Shoulder charge and no thank you. I will say though, it's honestly, it's actually a really nice scout. It feels so good in terms of handling. It's got 200 RPM, so it fires really fast. A lot of good damage. Like it's a four top headshot. We're rapid hit as well. This thing becomes insanely steady because obviously the rapid hit adds a lot of. No, no, no. Ooh, he just about got in, but this, this uh, rapid hit adds a ton of extra stability and stuff. So it is really sweet in that sense too. And, oh, buddy. No, no, no. Ah. Really? He's going to survive that? I thought my melee would have killed him eventually. But yeah, the rapid hit, it, it adds on a good bit of stability. Like, it makes it really, really freaking steady. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how it's alive. There's a guy coming as well. Come on, I'm weak, I'm weak. We're actually going to do this. Drifty boy. It's honestly a really good option for people. Like, you just don't really use it that much. We'll get this guy. <laughs> but, like, in terms of scouts and everything, like, look at that stability. We get him. Oh, this guy is just here. I didn't even get a kill for that. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 how did he get behind us, boys? You know what, though? It's nice to be on console with a weapon that goes at range. It's been, <laughs> it's been quite a while. I've been doing a lot of sidearms and stuff. It's nice to finally get a somewhat meta weapon. Obviously... It's not like oh, unbelievably meta or anything like that. We'll get that guy super quick. Oh, come on. And that's gonna that's gonna hit me. Oh, oh no. Good. Sir, can you just please Oh lordy, sir, please just die for me. Thank you. Get that guy as well. Like honestly, if this just had kill clip, it would pretty much be my go-to scout. This is a really good scout. It just has super good handling. It's got so much going for it. It's just literally, I can't get the stupid kill clip on it. And it's the only thing holding this back. Honestly, it's actually really good. And we'll get this guy, and it's heavy he's using, apparently. He's got to be high me. But, oh, there we go. Oh, I need to run. But yeah, even the Night Watch rolls with Kill Clip. That, that one does, and this one doesn't. It just doesn't make much sense. It's just... 
Oh, God, I mean, I can't get salty over it, but, but if you don't have your Godroll Night Watch and stuff like that, this is definitely a great substitute. Obviously, you're not going to get the great damage going in, but... Okay, we just take it. Oh, my God, there's some freaking mind benders. But, yeah, this is consistently you're able to roll it and stuff like that, so I can pretty much get this. Like, I can get random rolls of this. I can get any sort of roll. Obviously, the Vorpal weapon right now isn't really... A factor or anything. Oh, that guy just spawned in on me. That is so bad, but he still managed to survive, and I'm so weak. And that is a polar lance. Oh, I appreciate that, buddy. Meat leak using a scout on this map. Uh, just basically hindering yourself like I am. But yeah, that was uh, 73 damage there. You probably wonder why I was trying. That was weapons of light. So that's that's what you can achieve. So that would have been a triple tap weapon. So that's what you can sort of achieve with um, a 200 RPM scout and stuff like that. That's the thing. If you got a multi-kill cut by two, because that's basically what weapons of light is. So technically... Oh, lordy lord. Okay, you got killed. But that's technically what the multi-kill clip will do. The thing about it is, though, is that I am giving out saying that multi-kill clip isn't on this weapon, but... Realistically, multi-kill clip doesn't make this any quicker the time to kill. It just makes it mean that I can get a headshot and stuff. I mean, I still haven't got the this damn kill streaks to come in and stuff like down. that. We just got a double kill. I still haven't got any kill streaks running at me. I mean, they're all just using there's a hammer and a dawn blade, but the rest of them are using the insta the insta perks and stuff or the insta supers. So the Vorpal weapon again hasn't really come in. But that's what I'm saying. I, I am starting to realize that when it comes to it, and that's a freaking arbalist. But yeah, what I'm saying, when it comes to this weapon, even though weapons or even though multi-kill clip is a fantastic perk and whatnot, the thing about this one is that it doesn't make it any more of a better time to kill or anything because it just adds on extra damage for meaning I can get an extra body shot. The only time it does multi-kill by two. So technically, it doesn't add on a super amount or anything like that. Oh, that's, that's, that's an arbalist. It's an arbalist. Oh, he whiffed. He whiffed. And I survived. We have one more super. Come here, buddy. Boom, and he's not there anymore, but this guy's here. Hey, buddy. We'll get him, we'll blow up, and the game must be nearly over. Hey, boy. <laughs> oh, 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 my God, I didn't get the last guy, but that is the victory. We actually did super well, considering this is freaking Pacifica. I think we did pretty dang well with a scout. We probably only got like 25 kills though with this console. 30 kills altogether, 3.33 efficiency. Well, that's it for me and the patron of Lost Causes. Honestly, overall, if I broke it down like I usually do, PC PvP, this thing is actually really good. Its handling is superb. Like, obviously, I do have a lot of handling uh, gear and so well, some handling stuff. The handling base stats is really good for this. This is a really nice RPM. It's 200 kinetic, meaning that I obviously can use like my meadows and stuff with this if I want to as well. There is a bunch of them. The only other one is the Night Watch, and that's why I was comp comparing them so much. But for PvP on PC, it was actually really good. I could like flick to people super easy. I could get headshots really quickly. And I just think in the current meta and stuff of like scout rifles are actually viable this is a really good scout rifle to pick up especially because to get a roll of this you just got to complete the sundial in pve i will say it's a decent scout as well i mean scouts aren't really going to be your go-to in pve because they don't deal with mobs super well and generally speaking they're not really amazing for doing damage on bosses and stuff i mean this does have vorpal weapon but I, honestly if i was going to say vorpal weapon i really think it needs somewhat some sort of a buff it should be doing a lot more damage than it does i mean it's good i mean obviously extra damage is nice and that but even against like guardians it only added like the extra 10 ish damage for dealing like with guardians in the super so it's only doing 41 per dome and realistically this does about 50 ish per dome or 49 or whatever it is so i think it really should get a bit of a buff this vorpal weapon would overall i will say for pve it wasn't bad it's just it probably won't be your go-to and then pvp on console this was actually really good as well the stability with the rapid hit going in and obviously i do have a lot of stability stuff as well it's super stable it's a really good weapon to down guardians with especially with the aim assist and especially with the current meta in terms of if you sit back you get so much more kills arbalist obviously is a thing to like be wary of but in terms of obviously if they miss this stuff you're gonna just destroy them and everything and if you can keep on hitting them and get the flinch up you'll do really well against them like i was on pacifica and i was doing really well and that was with a scout rifle I think four weapons a nice roll, and obviously, as I said, this rolls an opening shot, which the Night Watch doesn't. So maybe a rapid hit opening shot will be probably some, in certain circumstances, a better weapon than the Night Watch. So it's not overly like terrible compared to Night Watch. A certain roll with a rapid hit and open, opening shot will be better than the base Night Watch. But regardless, if you liked the video, just like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.